Every single day, we're constantly reminded of the fact that we are out here on our own. Each individual person needs to learn how to fend for themselves, and this is exactly why. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, TMI. I am the Mass Investor. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys have not yet, subscribe, smash that like button, engage with this video. This is going to be a good one. I do want to show you guys an example of what it looks like when there's a general message trying to be passed down through mainstream media to hit individual outlets to make sure that everybody has the same exact messages. It looks pretty scary, and it almost looks like it's not real. Here's an example of a message that was passed down just a few years ago through broadcast television. This is why I love the internet. When it's used correctly, it can be used to empower the people. Take a look at this message here from your trusted news services. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Uh, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 This is a serious insult to our intelligence. If you guys have not yet, of course, engage in this video, smash the like button, whatever you guys need to do, comment in the section below how this makes you feel. I do know that this message has been put out there on social media, not quite on YouTube, so I did want to get it here as well, just to give you guys a quick example of what it looks like when there's a general message being passed down. Although it comes in different shapes and sizes, colors, tones, genders, whatever it is, it's the same message being pushed on to you. Now, what I can say about this is this, make sure you guys do find yourselves different channels, make sure you guys find yourself different avenues of information, make sure you guys can collect and correlate and double check and fact check and do your own due diligence when I'm trusting information. Now, on top of that, I do also want to get into this. Take a look at this. Breaking Congress members reportedly tried to stop the SEC's inquiry into FTX per prospect with March letter that questioned the SEC's authority to inquire about crypto in part FTX. Five out of eight can campaign donations from FTX employees from 2,900 to 11,600. Now, it seems like, from my perspective, that politicians on both sides of the aisle only seem to agree on things when it comes down to protecting politicians. I digress. Take a look at this. Here's an update. The letter was signed by Republicans and Democrats alike. It seems like they have come to an agreement, finally, on something both parties can agree on protecting corruption. Republicans rep Tom Emmer, Warren Davidson, Byron Donalds, and Ted Bunn. And Democrats, Josh Timer, Jay Achenkloss, Richie Torres, and Darren Soto. There seems to be a lot of fellowship. There seems to be a lot of brotherhood when it comes down to politicians and what goes on behind the scenes. But when it comes down to them helping the people, it's always a disagreement. There's always a big argument. There's always a big battle. There's always a lot of work to get done. But when it comes down to a simple investigation as to what the hell went down with money leaving a corrupt FTX scene and getting into the back pockets of politicians, no, we don't want any investigation. We can all agree on that, guys, right? Right? Right, right? Sounds good? Okay, good. That sounds crazy to me. That being said, let's listen to the Congresswoman Maxine Walters speak about the current investigation with FTX and what the Congress people are doing. I do not believe half of the things that comes out of the mouths of Congress people, but I do think it's my duty to give you guys information as I do see it come in. All right, here we go. The House Financial Services Committee calling for a hearing into the collapse of FTX this week. And joining us now is the chair of that committee, Representative Maxine Waters. Congresswoman, it's great to see you again. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm pleased to be with you today, and I'm anxious uh, uh, to talk about uh, the fact that we, in my committee, have been working, uh, we've been learning, we've been planning, uh, and we're on top of the fact that we need to have regulations for cryptocurrency, and we're moving toward hearings on FTX. Do you regret the fact that it hasn't happened so far, and this could have potentially been prevented? Well, uh, what I'm pleased about is the fact that we are far ahead of uh, many other countries in taking a look at cryptocurrency. It is very complicated. Uh, we have members with a lot of different thoughts about it. Uh, but McHenry and I, the ranking member, have been working closely together uh, so that we can increase uh, the learning and uh, get many of our members to have a basic understanding about cryptocurrency, even though we started with stable coins and we're moving very rapidly on that. We too have yeah. been focused on creating roundtables and task forces to deal with what we have to do to develop re regulations of cryptocurrency. Now, see, the funny thing is, to me, just based on what I'm pulling from this interview is simple. The vast majority of people in power do not fully understand what the hell is going on here. Of course, just my opinion. So you guys can go ahead and do your own research and you guys can agree or disagree, but they don't fully understand what the hell is going on. So it's hard for them to regulate 
or even speculate on what the issues could possibly be when they don't have a fundamental understanding of what is going on in this world of crypto. Now, that is a scary place to be. I do think that the states have a lot, a vast amount of very intelligent people, but those who are in power sometimes may be a bit too old, and this is not being ageist, just simply saying, you know, this is something fairly new coming to the market, or simply do not have enough information or background on crypto. Now, what they might have been trying to do was source people from FTX to come in and help, but they have to at least do the due diligence of background checks to make sure that the people that they're bringing in are trustworthy. And they did not do that. They failed the people. Let's continue real quick. As it relates to this particular case, uh, FTX, you know, in that bankruptcy court filing, it was very revealing, I thought, in very details. One of, one of the detailed, one of the revelations is that Sam Bankman-Fried himself, as well as two other top FTX executives, took direct loans from the affiliated trading arm, Almeida Research. D does, d should there be an indictment? Does, doesn't that sound criminal to you? Well, first, there should be an investigation. Uh, we believe uh, that there's fraud uh, and that citizens' uh, investments have been compromised. And we think that an investigation is absolutely necessary to really understand what has taken place with FTX. Now, I agree wholeheartedly with Maxine Walters on this. An investigation needs to happen. He should also be locked up in the meantime. I don't know what the heck this guy's doing out there, you know, eating breakfast with his family in, in public view when you have people that are just endorsing the company that he actually ran that are being charged. Get this guy behind bars somewhere. I, I don't understand how he's still out there. If that was any other normal person out there they would be in custody why he is not is still and if ftx is found uh, to have contributed uh, to the criminal activity that is being alleged then certainly uh, they should be accountable quick reminder one we are out here on our own guys make sure you guys are staying prepared make sure you guys are doing your due diligence make sure you guys are doing your research make sure you guys have trusted sources and two it seems like the government thought they're just looking out for themselves okay now i do hope there's an investigation i do hope you know there's more information that comes out on this that can also help protect people in the future a lot of people lost a lot of money with this but i'll be back again with another video later on today guys i do have some good stuff cooking up if you guys have not yet guys smash the like button engage with the video subscribe to the channel so you guys get notified for videos just like this and for those of you guys looking for more information on trading information education call outs watch lists walkthroughs in the market feel free to Check out the link in the description for our Discord. We are having a Black Friday deal. Once those spots are filled up, they are closed for the rest of the year. It was sold out for the last two weeks. We opened back up for a few more spots, so feel free to check that out. And for everybody else, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.